select the method layout. And this is really where we're going to be spending the majority of our time today is on that method layout. Now you'll notice that on the left-hand side, again, we still continue to have the data processing and then all of the list of injections. Then in the right-hand panel, we've got the processing method. And then down below on the right-hand panel, we have a window for the chromatogram that's currently highlighted on the left. So this very first icon underneath the 100 injections in that top or in the right-hand panel where it says processing method and then 100 injections and immediately below that there is a general and then properties. Well, the first tab of the properties is an information tab. So we can type in some additional information about this 100 injection uh, method. So currently what's in there is new method for processing for I'm going to just add for 100 injection data set. Now, you don't have to add anything here. I'm just showing you that this is where you can put in some specific information about the uh, processing method itself. Now, for those of you that were with me last week, you'll remember um, that we looked at specifically the control panel and the acquisition portion of the software. And remember that I told you at the time that the acquisition portion of the software does not cover anything like integration, calibration, and report generation, because that is for simply the data analysis portion of the software. So that's why we're concentrating today specifically on that data analysis portion, because we have already acquired this data in the acquisition portion of the software. So we are now taking a look at how am I going to be able to integrate it, to calibrate it, to uh, create a report on this specific set of data. So that's why when we architected Open Lab CDS, unlike our predecessor products of either ChemStation or EasyChrome, we completely divested or divorced the acquisition portion of the software from the data analysis portion of the software. One of the reasons that we did that was specifically because um, there was a workflow, especially in very compliant laboratories, in the ChemStation world specifically. In ChemStation, there is an online instrument and there is an offline instrument. But the two of them are interconnected by one single common executable, which meant that, let's say I'm a person that came into the lab, I started up my 100 injection sequence to run for the day, one of my colleagues comes in a couple of hours later and opens up the offline session of my currently running online chem station. Well, in the audit trail, it says that not only has my colleague taken over the offline version of that, of that instrument, but also because they are connected together by one common executable, he's also taken over the online version of my currently running system. That posed some problems in audit trails for certain compliant industries. So when we were architecting Open Lab CDS, we completely divested, divorced, the acquisition portion of the software from the data analysis portion. That eliminates that particular problem in audit trails for certainly some of the compliant industries. But one of the other benefits that it has is that you no longer have to worry about opening up a like instrument in order to use or look at your data. In the ChemStation and EasyChrome world, for instance, if you had 3D data, data um, diode array data, you would have to open up an instrument that had configured with it a diode array in order to be able to look at spectral opportunities. Well, in Open Lab CDS, data is simply data. So it doesn't matter what instrument it was run on. It could be an, an LC, a GC, an LC single quad mass spec, or a GC single quad mass spec. Data is simply data. When you go into the data analysis portion of the software, it doesn't matter what instrument you had it run on, you are going to have access to all of the capabilities of being able to analyze this uh, set of data. Now, immediately to the right of the info um, tab, there is a global tab. If I select that global tab, it shows you that we have two different integrators associated with Open Lab CDS, both a ChemStation integrator and an EasyChrome integrator. Now, we do this for a very specific reason. Many of you will be coming from some of our older software packages, such as ChemStation and EasyChrome. And 
as you're coming from those older packages, we want to give you an opportunity to be able to see the data that you have already created in those older packages in the newer package of OpenLab CDS. We also want you to be able to get at least approximate, if not exact, numerical values of things like your integrated results, et cetera, from those previous software packages. So we incorporated both of those integrators directly into the CDS system so that you can then use whichever integrator you feel most, most comfortable with. In this case, we're going to keep it with the ChemStation integrator.